when you think about quantum computing, you know, people were thinking that quantum is, you know, it's going to take years to develop. And when you really think about it, you know, we're not in a place where we can wait years for these developments. We want these developments, you know, really making a difference now. Wall Street is obsessed with debating whether the AI boom is a bubble, but while everyone's focused on chips and training models, a new revolution is already forming behind the scenes. Lisa Su, AMD's visionary CEO, just dropped a bombshell that could change the narrative for the entire tech world. In her latest interview, Sue revealed that AMD and IBM are partnering to merge classical and quantum computing, effectively bringing the next computing revolution into the present. We're not in a place where we can wait years for these developments, she said, signaling a seismic shift from long-term theory to near-term reality. That single statement turned heads across Wall Street. For years, analysts called quantum computing a 2030 story, but Sue made it clear, the future has arrived early. When Google announced its own quantum breakthrough last year, quantum-related stocks exploded, some rising several fold in weeks. Now, amid a sharp tech sell-off and fading AI euphoria, the stage may be set for another wave. Many of the best-positioned quantum firms are trading at deep discounts, while institutional interest and government involvement are quietly accelerating. Quantum computing isn't just about faster processors, it's about solving the unsolvable. From climate modeling to cybersecurity to advanced drug discovery, it's the next trillion dollar frontier that could reshape entire industries. And just like the early days of AI, the first movers could dominate the decade ahead. In today's video, we'll explore three companies at the center of this quantum shift. Innovators that are turning research into real-world systems, with breakthroughs, partnerships, and balance sheets strong enough to outlast the hype. These aren't theoretical moonshots, they're real players leading the charge as quantum transitions from the lab to the global economy. Let's dive in. First on the list is IonQ Inc., ticker symbol IONQ, a company that's rapidly becoming the face of the quantum revolution. While much of the market was distracted by falling AI valuations, IonQ quietly delivered a quarter that caught everyone off guard. Revenue soared 222% year over year, far surpassing expectations, and management raised full-year guidance to as much as $110 million. But the real story isn't about the revenue, it's about the breakthroughs driving it. IonQ achieved a world record 99.99% two-qubit gate fidelity, a technical milestone that puts it at the forefront of fault-tolerant quantum computing. The company also reached its number 64 milestone months ahead of schedule, unlocking a computational space that's 36 quadrillion times larger than today's best superconducting systems. In simple terms, IonQ has built a machine that can handle problems even the fastest supercomputers can't touch. CEO Niccolò De Masi has outlined an ambitious roadmap, scaling to 2 million qubits and 80,000 logical qubits by 2030, which could redefine the limits of global computing power. And it's not just talk, IonQ is partnering with Amazon Web Services, NVIDIA, and Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and recently acquired Oxford Ionics and Vector Atomic, making it one of the few full-stack quantum computing companies on the planet. With $3.5 billion in cash and record-setting performance, IonQ isn't merely surviving the market turbulence, it's accelerating through it. Its systems are already being used for breakthroughs in drug discovery, materials science, and climate modeling industries that could soon rely on quantum processing to stay competitive. Amid today's tech sell-off, IonQ stands out as a company with the science, partnerships, and financial strength to shape the next decade of computing. Transitioning from ion trap systems to photonic technology, our next company, Quantum Computing Inc., ticker symbol QUBT, is tackling the quantum challenge from an entirely different angle, and it's one that could redefine AI networking and data transmission itself. Quantum computing has developed a photonic-based quantum platform that runs at room temperature, avoiding the expensive cooling systems that traditional quantum computers need. The company recently launched a thin-film lithium neobate foundry, which is now operational and fulfilling pre-orders for customers in datacom, telecom, and advanced sensing. This foundry could prove to be the missing link between quantum processing and today's power-hungry AI infrastructure, potentially making next-generation data centers faster and far more energy efficient. In a surprising twist, quantum computing has already sold prototype chips to a global automaker for image recognition testing, a bold step toward low-power AI hardware that could have applications across electric vehicles and edge computing. The company's technology isn't just theoretical, it's being trialed by real customers with real-world needs. Despite being early stage, quantum computing's balance sheet gives it an enormous advantage. Analysts estimate the company now holds close to $2 billion in cash, giving it one of the longest runways in the sector. That liquidity allows it to scale R&D and production without the constant fundraising that limits many emerging tech firms. There's also a potential seasonal catalyst. Historically, 
quantum computing stock has seen explosive performance late in the year, including a 500% surge last November following a series of contract announcements. With its foundry expansion, growing institutional interest, and potential for new government or academic partnerships, quantum computing represents the kind of high-risk, high-reward speculation that defines the frontier of quantum technology. In a market looking for the next big leap beyond AI, quantum computing might just be one of the most intriguing plays of this transition era. And that brings us to our third company, Regetti Computing Incorporated, ticker symbol RGTI, a pioneer with both technological credibility and increasing geopolitical relevance. While IonQ and quantum computing push commercial adoption, Regetti's story ties directly into national strategy. Reports from the Wall Street Journal and Reuters suggest that the U.S. government is considering taking equity stakes in key quantum firms, including Regetti, as part of a broader push to secure American leadership in quantum technology and post-quantum cybersecurity. Even if those discussions remain preliminary, the implications are enormous. A potential federal partnership could position Regetti as a cornerstone in the United States quantum defense infrastructure, especially as threats like quantum decryption become more real. Government involvement wouldn't just bring funding, it would validate the sector, lower perceived risk, and attract institutional capital on a massive scale. From a business standpoint, Regetti is already financially stable, with $571 million in liquidity, enough to fund operations for almost a decade. It recently entered a $250 million collaboration with Quanta Computer, a major hardware player, to accelerate quantum research and commercialization. That partnership alone shows that Regetti isn't operating in isolation. It's part of a growing ecosystem where enterprise adoption and government interest intersect. Technologically, Regetti focuses on gate-based quantum systems, which are considered the long-term architecture for fault-tolerant machines, the same direction pursued by giants like IBM. As the company continues to refine its hardware and expand collaborations, it's increasingly viewed as one of the few credible US-based challengers capable of competing globally. What makes Regetti compelling now is timing. Quantum computing is moving from academic curiosity to strategic necessity, and Washington's rumored interest underscores that shift. Whether or not a direct investment happens, Regetti's combination of technical depth, government alignment, and industry partnerships gives it a powerful foundation heading into the next phase of quantum innovation. The bottom line is this, while the market debates whether AI is overvalued, the next trillion dollar opportunity is already forming quietly beneath the surface. Lisa Su's remarks weren't just about new machines, they were about urgency, the realization that the world can't afford to wait years for the next leap in compute power. Quantum is that leap. Companies like IonQ, Quantum Computing Inc., and Regetti are proving that this isn't science fiction anymore. They're building real systems, landing real contracts, and securing real capital, all in an environment where many tech names are struggling to find momentum. Quantum computing won't replace AI, it will amplify it, enabling breakthroughs that even the most advanced GPUs can't reach. The current market pullback may feel uncomfortable, but for forward-looking investors, it's creating an entry point into the next chapter of technological evolution. History shows that revolutions rarely announce themselves, they begin quietly, while most people are looking the other way. And right now, as Wall Street debates bubbles, the quantum boom is already taking shape. 